so the first four endings basically take place after you get the key to which you stab the, the one who you feel is the most evil from the white rabbit. And basically in this first half of the video, we're gonna be killing our friends. Yeah. Basically, when they said the one that you feel is the most evil, yeah, yeah, they, he meant other Alice's. So, to get the two of us ending, you choose Letty. Then you wake up in the orphanage. Everything seems fine. Everybody's doing okay, for the most part. Like I said, for for the most part. But what you want to do is you want to go to Letty's room. As you can see from our actions in the other world, she's basically died in her sleep. What you want to do then is open her journal with her name. There was a butterfly in the garden today. I tried to give it a cookie teacher gave me, but the butterfly seemed to like flowers better. Are flowers tasty, I wonder? Are they sweeter than sweets? It rained today. Rain makes everything all damp and you can't play outside. I hate it. I felt myself thinking it'd be nice if all this rain were candy. Anyway, I need to do schoolwork, even though I've been slacking. I mistook Rick's notebook for mine, and he got angry at me. I didn't look at what he wrote, but I know. He looks so sad. Am I a bad kid, teacher? I need to properly tell him I'm sorry later. I know why. I know why I burned mother and father and the house. But I won't say it. It'll just make Rick sadder. I need to be strong. Teacher, please teach me more things. Now, this is where the end credits roll. And basically, it's just a big ol' montage of the pictures in their journal, on top of them meeting Teacher. But that's basically gonna take up a large chunk of the video, so I feel like this is like something like, if you want to watch it, watch it on your own time. But for now, we want to skip to the end for something else. Rick? My, you're already asleep. I should go to bed too. Teacher will get mad. Hey. I wonder how many more times I'll be able to tell you goodnight, Rick. To get the color red ending, you choose Chelsea. Chelsea, suffering the same fate as Letty in her end, won't really protest to you opening her notebook. It's very scary in the afternoon when the sky turns all red. I really don't like thunder either. It sounds so scary. Teacher, can't you change the color of the sky? 
Today, Letty invited me to play outside. We played in the flower garden, then suddenly I saw a caterpillar on my shoulder. I yelped and cried. Joshua was nearby, and he took the caterpillar. I asked him what he was doing, and he said he was collecting frogs. Be careful, teacher. Teddy's arm came off. What should I do? I'm scared. He's falling apart. What if the same thing happens again? Help me. That night, I had a dream where I saw it again. Teacher, I'm so sorry for asking the impossible. And so late at night, too. It just hurts. I can't let it happen. Will it happen again someday? Will the day come when I can live with mother and father? God, she didn't even do anything evil! And her ending Chelsea is just the scapegoat for you to get back to the end for you to escape from, you know, the world. God, that's sad. I feel bad now. Why did I kill the wolf then? I had no choice but to kill it. Father. Are you well, mother? Please hurry. I need to stay well, too. I'm sorry. To get the crying wolf ending, choose Joshua. Today I found a frog with a weird pattern on it. When teacher was sleeping, I snuck it in his hood. I think he likes it. I also put one in his desk, in his pocket, and on his head. It's been getting cold, so it was tough to find them. I think we've got way too much homework. Why does homework have to be such a pain? The kid who arrived? Alan? He seems super smart. I'm impressed. Of course I'm doing my own homework. Don't doubt me. My hat was gone when I woke up this morning. I got really uneasy. I finally found it under my bed. I thought I was gonna die. Why did I feel that way? Why did I say such a thing? How did I feel back then? I don't even remember what I've said or haven't said. It's definitely not the. It's definitely best not to say anything. But they won't look at me if I don't speak up, will they? Sorry for everything, teacher. Does the moon only have a round shape? Or is it square and a triangle, too? It doesn't snow in summer. Yeah, that sounds right. Cats aren't as big, and cats aren't as big as a bus. Can't be. And dogs, too? You need a coat in winter. Don't need one in summer. Then what about me? Was I needed or unneeded? And finally, for the last ending involving the other orphanage children, to get the poison apple ending, you choose Stella.
is a small church drawn in the corner. A lot of drawings of apples. One page is colored completely black. Teacher's eyes, the same. Pitch black. Strange. The same eyes as that town, yet he breathes. Why? Actually, I'm gonna keep the one for Stella's on because we basically saw nothing of her journal. I guess Stella's thing is that she was raised by nuns, and so because of that she had to tend to the cemetery, I guess? can't make heads or tails of it, basically. They died again. Everyone died. Why don't I die? Why am I still breathing? I'm scared to sleep. Someone might die again. It might be me next. To get the recipient of love ending, you have to collect all the shards of XXXX, which, as we all know by this point, is probably love. And then, you open up Teacher's Journal with his name. I've returned to my own world. Fiona stabbed herself with a knife. Was it Fiona who had that dream? Then I must be dreaming too. No, I don't want to lose her, to sacrifice her. Fiona is still sleeping. The demon will eat her soul, so there's not much time left. With all my teachers given me, I can go to school now. I'm rather reluctant to. I got involved with, uh, with one particularly annoying person. He's named Cliff. I don't want anything to do with him. I pray he can let me let have some peace. That evening, Fiona's soul was lost. I wasn't in time. Now what am I going to do? I played with Cliff again today. He told me some interesting things. I was wondering how it'd go when he and how it'd go when he dragged me out. He's a good person, very good. So, teacher is retiring tomorrow. Seems she's having a child. I'm going overseas. I'm anxious, but Cliff will be with me, so I should be fine. Apparently, my novel won a big prize. Cliff submitted it somewhere. 
I got into a I got into a little fight with him over it. I told him that if in that if it were going to be popular, I'd use his name. Then went to my room. I don't have any interest in that. I've been having the same dream lately. A dream of that day. Is she angry, or is she suffering? I have to destroy that dream quickly. There might be another like her, or like me. Just what is love? Maybe I do know. I suppose first I'll repair our friendship. How many years has it been since I said I'm sorry? So there are a couple of things left out in Teacher's Ending. That being that Fiora is his sister, and they once entered like it's like it's pretty obvious that like they once entered the dream world like we had, and Fiora sacrificed herself so that way Teacher could escape. And also another thing, that, another little thing that was left out. Teacher's teacher, the one that he mentioned retiring because she was having a child, is Chelsea's mother. So that's an interesting little tidbit, I guess. It's still a little upsetting knowing that even with his name we couldn't save him. I decided to leave this here because, you know, we haven't we actually didn't get to see anything of teacher's story, even through the notebook scraps. I'm sorry I couldn't save you, teacher. But there's still one more ending for us to get. Good morning, teacher. Look, another one came today. <laughs> We're going to run out of places to put them. Letty's the same as ever, always eager to play. Chelsea's slowly starting to talk to the others. She's very good at cooking as well. Joshua told me that he found someone he likes. Stella looks as weary as ever, but she seems to be having fun. Mr. Cliff and the others who look after us are all very nice people. There's no way we could forget. We'll always think of you as our teacher. Because you destroyed the dream and saved us, we'll never, ever forget. There's a very low chance of success, but we are looking for a way. Until then, we'll keep sending it. We'll send you what you said you didn't know. Until then, good night, teacher. And finally, to get the Cheshire Cat ending, every time you talk to him after you clear a world, you have to answer with, I'm not sure. When that happens, in the teacher's world, a door will open up next to the locked door in the archives. Well, a hole, more like it. But you want to go through it.
Whoa! Count your sins! What? Judgment. Guilty. Sentenced to bed. Sweet dreams for life. He, he has his hood down. Yo, yo, yo! What? Told you, didn't I? That I'd show you the good and the goods in the hood? It's kind of a mess. Scrounge so I scrounged up some stuff. Left eyes from a boy hurt by sheep. Hair and a girl who's lost a light. Ears and abandoned black cat. Pretty sweet, don't you think? Heap on that pra and heap on that praise. Now I'm a guy who keeps his promises. You got the key, yeah? From the white rabbit? For you stabbing somebody or getting stabbed is boring. For me, anyway. You're not sure how to answer any of my questions. You taste lousy, I bet. Ah, that's right. Didn't I tell you that, too? We eat souls. If we don't, we go poof. We could eat dogs or frogs, sure. But people taste best. Particularly souls that are ruined by despair and agony. Kids don't know much stuff, so it's the end, and, and if you know what to take, it's easy to crush them. But man, I didn't think you'd be so hollow when I took it from you. Kids like you are and nine are rare this day and age, you know? Adults are no good, though. They're too hard because of all that dirty knowledge. So we mainly dine on by luring kids into this world. Ah, but this time is special. That guy never changed, not since he was a little brat. Couldn't be a happier day than this, no sir. What's so funny? You eat pigs and cows and their souls. What's the difference if we eat frog and human souls? There really ain't no difference between us and you. Why do we keep using the same language as you? That never struck you? Question. What do you think happens when people die? When people die, they vanish from the world. And when people die and vanish from the world, they give us power. Because souls don't die. There's all kinds of them, and I take things from them. Rabbit can rewrite the signs on past people take, in a good way or bad way. You guys like to call that the work of demons or angels, depending. The only di and the only one different is our god. He's pretty wrathful. He made us all he made us all creatures need love to live. But people forgot love because they made their own rules. Well, what do you think of that? The world was already over once people came into being. Just taking the road to the end from then on. Well, there you go. That's what I've done. Now, I told you a bit ago, the other way to link the world with the, and when to link the world with the world. A pact with a demon. In layman's storms, your soul and mine get mixed. If I take a soul, if I can take a soul, rather than eat it, I can live much, much longer. Strong intentions are risky. They make it hard for me to act and they make it hard for me to act the way I like. But you're empty. You don't get a chance this good every day. If you give me something, I'll take all the guys in this world back to your world as thanks. It'll be over before you know it. It doesn't hurt. Vanish here, or merge with me and help with this help the others. What'll it be? Okay. If I can save Teacher and the others. Pact made! I can't hate you, smart brats. By the way, I think you'll keep enough conscious to see, so there's that. What I took from you? Alright, I'll tell you before you go. Love. I took love from you, and from the others. Satisfied? Alrighty, I'll remember you. Sure will. So long, Alan! And that's the final end of Alice Mare, which, to be honest, it's a little bittersweet, but to be honest, I'd say it was worth it. Because, I mean, 
I don't know. Alan was... Alan was pretty empty. And with not having much left, I don't know. It, it's still kind of bittersweet, because it's just like, at the same time... Like, we did save everybody. Teacher included. We actually saved Teacher without having to kill our friends. But at the same time, Alan's gone. Uh, his soul and everything. So, who knows. It's really up to you guys. Well, not really even that. It's up to whoever plays this game and gets all the endings for themselves to decide what they feel is the true ending. To be honest, I prefer this one. Because, I mean... I don't know. It's kind of a worthy sacrifice, it kind of isn't. And plus we do get to learn a little bit more about Alan before, he, you know, he vanishes. And this is very similar to, you know, the uh, the ending to the novel that I mentioned, where, he, where Alan sells his soul in order to rescue Teacher and the others. Hopefully, with this sacrifice, maybe Teacher can get his life back. Maybe. Man, it's always hard to get used to new stuff. As for this key, meh, I don't want to meet Rabbit right now. I'll toss it out and I'll toss it out around here. Now to pick up the pieces. Light first. Ah, uh, I bet if I eat him right in front of, and if I, I bet if I eat him right in front of him, he'll fall into despair easy. Can't eat adults though. So I'll play with him. Then get some new parts from him. Wait, he lied to us? You fuckhead! You fucking fuckhead! Never mind! I hate this cat! None of the endings are happy! Fuck! I'm mad now! I'm really mad! Like, shit! I just- I just got ripped off by a fucking demon cat! This is why I like dogs better. Fuck! Join me next week for Mermaid Swamp or some shit. I don't know, I'm mad.